Hi folks, uh, Jeff Day sent me uh, a block of postcard, postcard size, Windsor and Newton, like postcards. It's, it's, it's uh, about 140 pound weight, very small, six, six inches by four inches. I've just attached it to a board here with a bit of masking tape. So I'm going to just, uh, just wet the paper here and there. Put in a bit of sienna. This is the second attempt. The first one, I, when I've taken the masking tape off it, it touched the face of the painting and lifted a lump out. So I wasn't very happy about that. So let's go in a bit of a bit of blue. And as you come down to the Lower down, let's just, just do that. A bit of shadow, so a bit of blue, a bit of, bit of red. This gives a nice cloud colour. Alright, let's get that. Oh, it's quite shallow. Now, uh, uh, Jeff comes from uh, South Yorkshire and is surrounded by beautiful English countryside. Oh, I'll just, just flood in a bit more of that. Quite like that. It's, it's a bit of a stormy, stormy look. Uh, we've got the Yorkshire Dales, Yorkshire Moors, Knucklesfield, all nearby, not too far from the Lake District. Lucky him, I'm stuck in South, in South London suburbia and I have to make up my masterpieces. <laughs> uh, Jeff sent me a poem by uh, one of our very popular poets, uh, John Benjamin. And uh, we both like, like him. And it mentions a station in the poem, the Cash Alton Beaches station. Well, I just, I've just come back through there from Sutton. Uh, all right, now let's, while that's a bit still wet, I'm going to put in a bit of, bit of mountain colour. Uh, Bit, same colours as, as the sky, but we want thick, quite thick colour, so... no, we're not painting the Yorkshire Dales or anything, we're just, just painting a, just something for a postcard. Uh, distant hills. I get the horizons. Horizons, horizontal. Okay, now oh, let's just move that up a little bit. Right, it's going up here just a touch, so we'll just change that a little bit. That's a bit better. And we'll put in some burnt sienna. My paints are quite tube consistency because I keep them wet overnight in a, in a stay wet palette. Let's just put in a little bit of background here. I'm just using this this one inch hake. One of my subscribers and friend on YouTube um, Mentioned the fact that his hake, his large Ron Ransom hake, is clumping. Well, they do. They, they, there's no consistency with these things. It's gone into a, into a lot of bunches, and 
there's one there. The, 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 the hairs of these brushes are stitched into clumps and then they're stitched into the, into the handle. And it's, the, it's the individual clumps that, that tend to separate. But if you get a good one, well, treasure it. Because they do vary. They, they, they weren't really invented for artists. I think they're more for domestic use. I don't know, based in turkeys or oh. varnishing. Let's just get that across here. Right, let's get some nice sienna, nice warm sienna in there. Sort of autumny colours. But it's a bit of yellow. Cad yellow. Uh, just a little background here. Well, used to painting this small. These are glasses on for this. Okay, well that that will that will do okay. Let's just have a little bit up there. I'd rather be able to lift out behind or into that some yachts. Just a bit of interest on the floor, on the, on the background there. Uh, right, let's put in a bit of a, a bit of a base, a bit of a salt marsh. This does scrape out a, a bit, so we can do a few few rocks in there. I'm hoping. So that's why I'm putting dark colours in this foreground, just to be able to scrape out a little bit. is showing through. Right, the card. It's quiet, isn't it? So we just it doesn't scrape out like the Fabriano, but it just give a, a a rocky texture to to that foreground. Uh, so complete complete that there. Lock it in a little bit. Okay. Seems to be okay. Um, right. Uh, I think I could have done the background just a little bit more solid. Okay, I'm going to dry that off now so mute your sound. <laughs> so I'll finish my cup of tea. Glug. Right, okay, that's uh, uh I'll just put a bit of dry brush across there. A lot. Okay, that'll do. Oh, let's just see if we can just go, let's get that more or less straight there. Right. Try that, then I'm just going to lift out some bits and pieces. Uh, tissue. And a damp half inch brush. So let's just, just lift it out. 
some yachts. But it's just a little bit more um, realistic than using some gouache. Now I'm not uh, a sailor so forgive me if I don't get all these right for two sails on easy with one. I'm going to put just a little bit of, of, a, of a building there. Okay, that's it. Just a little bit of, bit of interest in it on that shore. And then we'll put a few birds in. And put a on it. There we go, and we'll just some. Just a few bits of grass. Okay, right, I'm going to carefully take the masking tape off without getting it anywhere near the face of this little picture. Right, I won't take the other bit off. So there we are, uh, just a, a, a little... Uh, a little um, lake scene, a bit of rain coming down there, uh, about it really. Uh, just, clean, just clean up a little bit of this horizon there where the colours just stain it slightly on there. Right, that'll, that'll do. Just, just get that a little bit cleaner in there. Okay, well we can fit it with those forever, couldn't we? Right, thanks for watching folks. See you soon. Bye bye.